Hi everyone, this is Edio, your handyman. And today, from this video, we are again uh, testing the the motor of the washing machine. So now, let me show you the uh, the washer motor. So the rating of the washer motor we have uh, it's uh, 150 watts and uh, 1.5 amperes and you can see this if you can see from this video we have the diagram of the motor. Now here is the uh, the whole setup of the wash washing machine circuit without the uh, the casing. Okay, so here's the casing. This is the washing machine that we are trying to repair. And from this setup, you have the uh, capacitor, and we have the uh, wash timer. Uh, here is the fuse, and the power cord. Now here is the diagram that I have uh, drawn. You have here the motor, and uh, this could be an internal capacitor. So, uh, there's uh, an external capacitor, which is this one, and that's the, uh, yeah, that's the black one. And here, there is a certain... Uh, symbol here I think uh, this is the uh, what they call the uh, thermal fuse this is usually inside the uh, the motor uh, in series with the with the coil it's in series with the coil inside the purpose of this uh, this thermal fuse is to protect the motor when the uh, motor gets too warm or hot uh, this will uh, this will uh, open this is the f this is the first this is the first one that burns when the motor becomes very hot so the mod the, the, the coil inside the motor or the motor itself is protected nowadays all all motors or most of the motors are protected with uh, thermal thermal fuse for example we have this electric fan so usually this ha this already has a uh, thermal fuse so that uh, it prevents fire so that your house don't get burned so now let's again try to test the motor so first we need to uh, we need to uh, plug it then we need to uh, 
uh, turn on the wash timer. There you go. So wash timer is now uh, operating. And then we need to uh, connect this uh, wire. So at this point you will uh, uh, see uh, a little bit of spark just to test if the, uh, the current is coming through. So uh, during one cycle, the motor stops up. So as you can see. Stops up. If we uh, prolong the connection uh, since the motor is stuck up uh, it will produce smoke so we have to uh, uh, remove the connection immediately uh, remove the cord the power cord okay so on my next video we will try to replace the motor so we will uh, have, have to get uh, a motor from another washing machine. So this is the one that we are trying to repair and this is the one that we will get the motor, the replacement motor. That's all folks, thank you for watching this video.